It is no secret that Harry Potter is a global phenomenon. We've got the books. The is movies. it really? It is. The theme park, mm. you've heard of it, right? Sure have. Well, now there's a Broadway play. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is finally making the trip from London across the pond to right here in New York City, along with three of his stars, Jamie Parker, Noma Dumezwini, and Paul Thornley. <laughs> Noma was like, yes, you got the name right. <laughs> they play Harry, Hermione, and Ron all grown up with kids in wizarding school what? now. And even though it's been 19 years since they were at Hogwarts, they're still getting into trouble. Guys, good morning. <laughs> good morning, guys. Good morning. First of all, this was such a hit in London, and now you've brought it to New York City. And as I understand it, the play is, is it like five and a half hours? It's in, in two, two parts. parts. Two parts. Okay, so that's, that's an endurance test for yeah. actors. That's two incredible. Play, two plays for the price of one. You get, yes. you, get, you get matinee part one, evening part two. That's amazing. So do you have to go? Can you go to one or the other? So three. So Wednesday, Ideally Saturday, you're Sunday. Two. Yeah. Ideally, yeah. you say go yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Part one and part two. You say one. You're going to want to come to yeah. the other one. Yeah. 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 Seriously, People there's a major cliffhanger. You don't want to not come and see that to return to. You can't leave a movie halfway. That's like not watching overtime in a game. Yeah. That is a lot for the actors, though. Yeah. Do you know what? It's not. I don't know how you got the beast of it with Sam and Anto as well. But in terms of a storytelling thing, you, you when you're doing the show. You're letting it go. You're yeah. just letting it go and playing and having a great time. Uh, we're, we're wizards for money. It yeah. Doesn't go. yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? This was so successful uh, across the pond. We've been waiting for two years to bring it here to Broadway. What does it feel like to bring it here finally? We've been um, waiting for two years as well. <laughs> yeah. We're like, we're, this is yeah. this is like a. I actually never thought it was going to happen. It's a holy grail, isn't it, getting yeah. to come over? Why do you think it's, it's the most? Oh, for me as an actor, it's like, wow, we get to do this production that was an amazing hit in London. I would get to do it at the Holy Grail of Theatres, which is Broadway. I'm yeah. very, very happy to be here right now. In a brand spanking new theatre yeah. that they've completely rebuilt just for us. So right. every, everything is you know, built to fit and it's gorgeous. The, the renovation is absolutely amazing. The whole thing is an experience. What, how have, you, how have the, the American audiences been as compared to British audiences? Can Paul? you? Well, oh, Paul, do you have a, oh, Paul has, a, well, has an opinion? Well, they like laughing and clapping a bit more. Yes, and do you know what? Paul likes I a lot of clapping. I like, like it here. Yes. <laughs> well, you're wrong, of course you do. Yeah. Yes. It's ideal for Ron Weasley. Yeah. Well, really, like, but they laugh and clap in, like, in a good way, or is oh, it kind of... Yeah, it's entrance lovely. rounds are a thing here. They yes. don't get those in London. Yes. Um, and, you know, fair enough. It's, it's for the characters. It feels like... It we said, we said it felt like a sort of 20-year reunion concert or something when, when, when we first turned up. And it's sort of it's settling now. But there is just still is that anticipation and the excitement that they're, they're, just, they're here for no other yeah. reason than to get the story. Let's geek out for a second. Go on. Yeah. So this takes place... For for people who don't realize, 19 years after book seven ends, right? Good. Harry Potter's grown up now. I represent the 0.1% of people who have not read any of the yeah. books. I'm sorry. Do you know what? The, so know so if I come to this one. play, yeah. and I am coming, yes. but this is supposed to be bigger than Hamilton's. You, you got me at hello. <laughs> but will I walk into this play yeah. and just be lost? No. 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 Nancy no, 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 Rosemary, no. who is the benchmark, she doesn't know anything about it, and she came out and went, I loved it. Yeah. Right. And she doesn't know anything about Harry Potter, so, so you, you and Nancy Rosemary yeah. will be fine. Yeah. Okay. I started the same as you as well. I didn't, I didn't know when I, when I first uh, you know, heard about the project, I didn't know that the final book finished 19 years later and that, that this play was picking up from the end of the last but book. But that's what's cool about it. It's a whole new story. Yeah. So even though people, I mean, they care so much about these characters, I'm sure in some ways it's kind of overwhelming and intimidating, you are telling a new story. And yeah. that's the joy, and that's yeah. why everyone's going, this is the A story. In theatre form, in a totally different version, and that's what you hear in the audience is these these gasps of uh, the, the release of information and the, and the revelations that happen. So in when the you play, say you haven't yeah. seen, yeah. that's not about. It's a brilliant yeah. thing. But no, you're just sitting with people who go, oh, I know what they're talking and about, and I haven't seen about. it. But you know what? I'm a father, and this is yes. a story of parents and their children yeah. too. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, oh, it, yeah. It, it really is. <laughs> the main it's not always smooth sailing, is it's it? Not no, it's sailing. not always smooth sailing. That's what Harry's going through. Right. Absolutely. And that's, you know, J, uh, J.K. Rowling puts in her stories in uh, these, these messages to kids that, you know, sometimes don't believe everything you read in the newspapers. Sometimes parents make mistakes. Sometimes, you know, yeah. mm -hmm. they're, they're these, these tough lessons to learn. And, and that original generation of Potterheads, they're our audience, mostly yes. 25 to 35. Yeah. But now their parents and they're, you know, carrying on their journey with Harry, Ron, Ginny, and, and and they're getting it all wrong as well. They're getting it wrong as well. You guys gotta um, check out the Potter uh, amusement park while you're here, right? You could just like have the whole. What well, if someone's gonna volunteer to take us around? Yes, yes. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Pleasure. Congratulations. I mean, it's epic. We have to go now because it'll be I like know. Hamilton. You'll never be able to yeah, get and in. And now we'll never get yeah. in. But yeah. now we know. I'm committing to 12 hours. I'm yes. gonna watch it twice. <laughs> guys, thank you so much. Thank well, you. Well, best of luck to you, Jamie. Thank you so much. Harry Potter and the Cursed Child is playing at the lovely Lyric Theater right now. Pretty cool.
Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.